That's Frank Sinatra, Fly Me to the Moon. Now, I promised you earlier we've got a very special guest coming in, and we're honoured to have in the studio today an astronaut from the Apollo 11 mission to the moon, which in 1969 made history with the first humans to walk on the moon. Welcome, Michael Collins. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. <clears throat> you, you know, for years, all the attention has gone to the other guys, Buzz Lightyear and uh, Stretch Armstrong. Oh, yeah, you mean Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. Yeah, whatever. It's nice to be out of their shadow at last. So you had to stay in the orbiter while the others went down to the surface? That's right. Well, you know how it is. You leave your bike unattended for five minutes, it's gone. Well, this was a multi-million dollar vehicle. And there was nothing to clamp it to, so someone had to stay and look after the command module. So how did you decide who would stay? Oh, you know, the usual. Moon rock, moon paper, moon scissors. But I didn't mind. Gave me time to do my taxes, read the manual, have a little moonshine. While they played golf and, you know, danced about. Possibly they singled me out to Mr. Moonwalk because of my part in the Irish Easter Rise in 1916. I think that was actually a different Michael Collins. Oh, yeah, that wasn't me. Did you feel you didn't get the appreciation like Neil and Buzz did? Hey, I once got a fan letter from a child, and I was over the moon. It made you happy? No, I was literally over the moon in the command module. Michael Collins, thank you. This is Don Spencer. I wish I was a spaceman. Wish? No, I was a spaceman. This is Come Saturday Morning on the radio station for the Medway Maritime Hospital, HRM.